Well, hey everybody, this is Wild Dandelion Jen. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long time since I have made soap with you all. And so today I am joining in, gosh, it's been since I think the Christmas collaboration, since the last time I made soap. So now we have the spring. I have had quite a long break season, but doing many other things with my time. And now it's time to get back into the soap. And so uh, the theme of this particular soap has everything to do with flowers. So I decided I'd wear my sober sleeves and my bib and paying homage to that beautiful theme for this season's YouTube soap collaboration. And uh, I've got my flower mold. So that is gonna be incorporated into the final product. And I will, at the end of this video, because this is going to be done in three segments, I'll put it all together for you guys. At the end of the video, I will uh, give details to the link that you can watch all of the collaborators videos as they post those up. And some come in droves and then others straggle along the way. So you don't want to miss those. Keep checking back to see other new posts that come in. You're going to want to watch those. There's some amazing, talented people making soap as part of this collaboration. So I cannot wait myself to see all the videos and see what they've made. So I'm so excited. So basically, I have got a combination here of oils. Very simple. This is coconut, olive, and palm. That's it. I've got a little bit of titanium dioxide to lighten that up because I'm going to be putting some calendula petals in it. And I want those to be able to be seen. Here I've got my lye water with just a pinch of Tessa silk, a little bit of uh, kaolin clay, and some sodium lactate. So we're going to mix these two, get them all blended up, and then I'm going to fragrance those with some natural essential oils, a little bit of orris root to help those stay in the final product, and the calendula petals, and then we'll be good to go. I have procrastinated this because I've had so many other things going on. I've been excited to do this, but as I procrastinated, it kept changing the inspiration of what I wanted to do with this. So, and along the way, it may change a little bit more tomorrow as I do the next step. Just never know. So let's get this blended up. Pour a sheet in here. So you might be wondering what I've been doing with my time and I'll tell you, I've been watching a lot of videos of other sofas. I also have been helping my daughter look for houses. She's getting ready to move back to Missouri with my grandson. Um, I have put my products in a little local gift store in our neighborhood and been doing a lot of uh, Bible reading and making videos that I've been and uploading regularly, which you guys might have seen some of those. And uh, got through the holidays well. And it's just been a beautiful rest and a beautiful time as the Lord's been drawing me closer and having me take extra time with Him that I hadn't afforded myself for a while. And um, He just uh, put on my heart to take a break from the soaping and press into him and to resume making videos and recordings that I used to do before I began soap making. I've been recording different things for YouTube and some other little vocal, not really a podcast, but vocal recordings that I've been uh, posting to a website that I had and some on YouTube and Facebook for the last... Uh, several years and so he's called me back to focusing my time and attention there 
I made the soaps for the cleansing of the outside and he's brought me back to uh, reintroduce and to invite those who are new to it uh, into the presence of God through his word. So I am more than overjoyed and happy to do that. It's been an exciting, exciting time. And I'm gonna pour these soaps off. I think God is so good, you know, it's so exciting. Like with um, many on a mission, uh, mom on her channel, she's also felt that draw from the Lord to get to business, sharing God's grace, mercy, his love for us, his forgiveness and desire for us to be in relationship with him not only right now in our natural mortal time here, but in the everlasting immortal time here, then we are made eternal beings to live forever with him, amen. And many, many are picking up the mantle that he's drawing them to, to share in small circles, in your household, even in larger arenas such as YouTube, podcasts, Bible studies. And uh, I think that that is amazing. And I, as much as I like to watch the soap videos, and I'm so excited to watch this because I am a creative individual. Even more so, I am excited to hear the words of God uh, shared with the brethren. And uh, that is like my bread and butter for the day. I am so excited every time something gets posted to partake of his goodness for others. And uh, it's all good. So. I hope you guys take some time to listen to the heart that comes through these videos and the love that they have for the Lord and the love they have for you as well, to be wanting to share the greatest gift of all with you and not to sit on that. So give it a listen. You may not want to hear them all. You may want to hear some, but as he speaks to you through these videos, if you're anything like me, it won't be enough. You are going to crave him and want more and more. And you'll find yourself seeking him out, going into prayer, and then also being used of him. So it is all good. So, okay, I'm going to let these babies set. Okay, so now we're going on to the second phase. What I did was I took and I sliced each one of these flower molds in half. So they're, they're about an inch thick at this point. And then I poured a little bit of clear melt and pour in the bottom. And then I've set my botanicals, dried flowers from my uh, wildflower garden and herbs. And so now what I'll do is go ahead and top the rest of this with the melt and pour and then we'll go on to the next phase where i'm going to be making a cold processed soap that has uh, different colors made from natural plant matter for the differentiation and colors and we're going to swirl that and pour that around all of this to make a slab mold and then we will cut these out and they will end up being beautiful little square bars of soap that have flowers within them and then the beautiful clear stained glass looking petals in the center. So I think this is going to turn out really nice. Okay, everybody, I am on the last leg of the journey of the flower power soap. So I've got my oils brought to temperature, it's just coconut, olive, and sustainable palm and then i've got my lye water that's got a little bit of tussa silk and some kaolin clay 
And then the colors that I'm going to use today are chlorella. And then I have a little bit of turmeric. I have some um, matter root along with a little bit of sea buckthorn oil and a little bit of pomegranate powder. And then I have some indigo powder. And that should give me the colors that I'm looking for. I'll add a little bit of orris root, some litzia and lavender. And then depending on how the um, indigo goes is whether or not I add a little bit of blue mica, little soaps with the different flower petals. So I don't want to over blend this because of all that I have to mix. So we're just going to bring it to the lightest trace possible. Pour these off. I'm going to do a one pot swirl with these. But I want to get the colors going. Just always add back all I want in there, and I do want to add a little bit of blue mica. Let's add a little bit of So I'm going to cut these, you know, clean these all up whenever I cut them so that they'll be nice and ready. 